What's up guys, Sick Crazy here, and today I'm bringing you guys a commentary, um, it's kind of like an inspirational commentary, uh, I'm recording it before I get, I get the gameplay, before I know what's going to be in the background, um, just because I might run over a certain amount of time, so, um, I definitely will mention it at the end, so, um, anyway, today's topic is just, um, how firefighting and being in the fire company and stuff has changed my life. Uh, and for the better and um, one thing it's made me really do and that most people don't think it would do is it actually gives you a lot of respect for elders and it may be uh, you may think it's like unrelated but there's a lot of older guys in the fire s service that know so much that if you, and will only tell you if you're respectful to them and I know guys like there's this guy Ronnie there's this guy Walt Ronnie and his son Dave uh, Dave's a past chief. They built our rescue for us. Like, they, like I mean, they put all the equipment on, and our re our rescues won award is an award winning rescue because of how much equipment's on it and stuff. Um, and I have a lot of respect for both of those guys. And the only thing they get annoyed about, well, Ronnie gets annoyed about, is if you don't listen and he's trying to help you. Like, say I was, say I asked him a question about tips about popping a door or something like that which you guys probably don't know what that means but and he um he's talking to me and i walk away and say something to somebody else and then come back and say oh sorry what was that he, he'll get mad but i'm not like that so that's definitely one thing like i i learned to listen to my elders i learned to um respect them like if, when they're in the building ask them if they need help with anything uh like the vice president of the fire company frank he's 70 something and he um like he does a lot of cooking for hall rentals and stuff like that and it gives me a lot of respect for him because of how much time he sacrifices towards the fire company um, and then another thing is um, it's really like a great experience um, I'm doing things at the age of 15 that adults dream about doing um, climbing the ladder on a on a telescope, climbing a ladder on a tower, or doing confined space searches without having to worry about the fire around me because there's no fire around me, it's just a drill. Um, I'm doing primary, secondary searches, like I'm learning how to do stuff that takes years to learn and that adults dream about doing every night. Like, um, some people it might be as simple as destroying wood pallets with an axe and I've, I'm getting to do that. Um, but I mean, that's something that everybody can do. I got to do that for our bonfire that you saw on the day in the life of a video, but it's, like, that's besides the point. I'm doing things, like, putting out fire, and it's something people dream about doing, and I can do it, and I'm only 15, and that's something really awesome that I'm able to say, and, um, we're trying to get my cousin to join, so, because, um, I don't know if I've ever said it, but... My fa I'm a third generation, and which is awesome, and it was originally my grandpa, then my dad and my uncle Joe joined, and that's my uncle Joe's junior because my grandpa's name is Joe, and then my cousin JJ is Joe the third, so everybody calls him JJ, um, and he is very. Like we're trying to get him to join because it's a lot of it's a really great like sorry great experience, um, and another thing is really like just everybody thinks it's so time consuming and stuff and it's really not and I've seen things that fifteen year olds don't get to see I've done things that fifteen year olds don't get to do I've done so much I've had so much fun with it I love it but people say. People are always like, uh, you're not going to love it once you find your first death. Well, I don't think that's true. I mean, yeah, death is sad, but you don't. I won't necessarily be the one who has to directly deal with that. Um, I might be the one who finds the person, and I might have to go to counseling, and I might not love it then, but I still will love it, and I still will have a passion for it. It's, and people they think that making comments, I'm not going to mention any names because it's a couple people. It's not just one person. People think that making comments about it offends me, 
it's my passion. If you make comments about it, I take that as a way or, or um, I take that as jealousy that you can't do it. That's my opinion. And I mean, because if you really wanted to do it, I mean, he's like a couple people aren't in the shape to do it. A couple people are too scared. And there's nothing wrong with being scared. Um, like I said in the confined space drill, I was terrified, but I faced my fear. You know, when I when I climbed the ladder on the telescope at my fire company, I was terrified, but I faced my fear, and that's all it's really about. Like you may think it's scary, and, and like I've said it, uh, and a um, a quote I loved, I like to live by when I describe my like when I describe firefighting is courage is not the absence of fear but rather the judgment that something is more important than fear and that's a great quote I forget who said it but be right back guys yeah but anyway guys I forgot who said, who said that quote but it's a great quote that I've always lived by and courage just think about that like courage everybody thinks that we're fearless everybody thinks that we don't we aren't terrified when we're walking to a building we're terrified but we're just the type of people who've learned to put that behind us, put that fear behind us, and be able to just go into the building and not really worry about much. Um, because we know that the guys standing behind us and the guys standing in front of us are guys that are going to protect us no matter what. And that's something, that, that's a great feeling. Um, you guys don't know what that's like unless you've been in the military or unless you yourself are in the fire service. And um, one of my idols, like I was tweeting about it, one of my idols is, uh, I said has died, uh, and I, I, it was weird because the same day I said, um, something about a line of duty death that we had that happened in Pennsylvania yesterday, but that's not, that they were two completely unrelated tweets. Um, my idol is this one guy from Company 09 near me who, um, at the age of 19 died in a fire and... Uh, not my, he's not my idol, I wouldn't say, but, like, someone I look up to, I feel like I can look up to, um, and, I mean, I wish that there was more information around about him, and, uh, I try, I just try to live my life, uh, thinking that I'm lucky that that's, uh, and that happened in my town, <clears throat> excuse me, um, and if I sound tired, guys, sorry, I just woke up about five minutes ago, or, like, five minutes before this commentary, so, um, anyway, another thing that has really changed my life is, like, I've made tons of new friends that I never would have made if it wasn't for firefighting, and there's people like EJ, Bree, German, uh, that's his last name, everybody calls him that, it's kind of funny, because uh, he hates it, everybody calls him either that or Gingy, um, Joe, Tom, other Tom, Austin, third Tom, there's another Mike, it, like, and you guys may be like, well, how old are these people? Well, age doesn't really matter, I mean, there's, like, the, uh, the other Mike I was I mentioned, there's, he's, like, in his 50s, but you know what, he, he's somebody I can look up to, he, he's one of the people who, after every drill, comes up to me, tells me what I did wrong, and then tells me I had a good drill, and that's, you guys may think, like, if he tells you what you did wrong, why you like him, well, he tells me what I did wrong in a respectful manner, and he knows me that if you tell me in a respectful manner, I'll listen. If you don't tell me, if you approach me in a rude manner, I won't listen. And that's something that's really well known around about me. Um, my nickname's O2, because everybody knows my name's Mike Oster, so O2, Oster 2, because my dad's still around a lot. Uh, um, technically, I should be O3 or O4 or something like that, but anyway, that's besides the point. Um, but, like, there's people like that that really I look up to, and I don't mind constructive criticism. I, I can take constructive criticism, again, as long as it's in a good manner, and you guys learn really how to take constructive, constructive criticism, and you learn how to get your balls busted for making a stupid mistake. Like, most people are like, yeah, if I make a mistake and I admit to it, I feel like I shouldn't be getting my balls busted. Well, if you make a mistake and you and it costs five seconds, even you get your balls busted and people don't understand that like why do you get your balls busted so much and it's because 
one a five second mistake can be a life or death mistake, and you need to learn that. Like an apology can't make up for a life or death mistake. I mean, yeah, people will forgive you, but it's impossible. Like, um, I'm trying to think of how to put this. It's impossible. Like your apology won't bring back that person that died, and I mean, there's life or death mistakes all the time. Um, when there's fatal fires, when there's line of duty deaths, there's stuff like that, and it's, uh, and then there's just things go wrong. It not every death is a mistake, and that's something I've learned. Like I thought that every time there was a death, there was somebody making a mistake, and I learned that it's not really so much mistakes as it is um, just something going wrong. Like for example, when I was talking about the guy who died in my local. He died because he was putting out a garage fire and the garage collapsed on him. Um, then I'm like, I was told that at the call by a guy who is known, or by a guy who is my neighbor, and uh, I couldn't think of the word there, but he said he pulled him out and he was bent like an anaconda. And that's pretty scary to think of, like, um... And I mean, you just gotta kind of be alert of your surroundings. It's, and it wasn't his fault. The company, most times when there's a line of duty death and it's f like something that could have been prevented, the company gets fined unless it's some, it's the other person's, unless it's the person's fault. Which in that case, it won't, they won't be fined. But like, people just don't realize that um, we are all a family, no matter what city, what town, uh, no matter all the, like, no matter how much we may talk crap on each other's companies because someone makes a stupid mistake or someone can never get out on their first alarm because we're all volunteer companies um it, it just really is something that you guys you, like yeah we argue a lot but brothers and sisters fight and it's something that can't be prevented it's something that will happen when you spend 40 hours a week with your with your peers uh one second guys Anyway, back to what I was saying, like, you like you spend so much time with your peers, and people think you won't fight after you've spent, you've been on a job for 12 hours with somebody, and it's impossible not to fight, and it happens, but you just, what, we've, what I've learned is that there's times for fighting, and then there's times to put it behind you, and there's times to put it behind you, get what needs to be done, done, and then come back and be like okay let's let's talk about this let's work it out and it's not always about who's right it, you just gotta work it out be the bigger person even if you are right in the situation you have to just say be the bigger person um, I'm sorry just say sorry and you guys don't realize like that actually has helped me so much I've gotten in arguments with other juniors and then continued it when we got a call and I got yelled at, and I got my balls busted because I would not stop. And I've learned that you gotta, there's times for that, and there's times to put stuff behind you. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, it'll be down in the description below. As always, guys, this has been sick crazy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.